as we get closer and closer to April's draft, our draft expert Nolan Naraki is talking to people around the league, scouts, GMs, all sorts of decision makers, getting the latest buzz of what's going on in the draft. We bring it to you in what we call a draft confidential. Nolan, first up, let's talk about Justin Blackman. You know, he's been one of the biggest names in the draft really the last couple of years, chose not to come out. This year he was widely regarded as the top wide receiver, but it looks like he's starting to slip down boards a little bit. What's going on with Blackman? I don't know how far he's going to slide. I think he's going to be a top six pick. I think the, the uh, St. Louis Rams are going to be very happy if he's sitting there at number six. But there are growing concerns around the league about his character. You look at his history, he had a DUI. After the Fiesta Bowl, he decided to fly straight to Las Vegas instead of taking a team charter back home. His work ethic's been questioned. It didn't work out at the combine. He put on a tape and teams are taking an even closer look, uh, watching him try to run away from uh, Delano Howell from Stanford for one, watching him try to run away from Kansas defenders that can't run very well. And he doesn't separate down the field. He's not a very explosive player and it shows up on tape too. So there are a number of concerns that are creeping up about what kind of pro he's gonna become. So you're saying that my love for Vegas means my draft stock is also probably sliding down draft boards right now? That's what you're doing in Vegas that counts. And uh, that will leave it alone because no one wants to know what I'm doing in Vegas. Another guy that we were looking at leading up to the draft, Oklahoma defensive or left tackle uh, Donald Stevenson. You know, he was a guy that started way down on our, our board during the year, like just didn't have the grades that really justified him being up high. But slowly now, people are starting to recognize and pay attention to Stevenson. He's received some first round grades, believe it or not. Wow. He worked out like a first rounder at the combine. He the fastest 40 time, better than Matt Cleal, the top tackle. A vertical jump 35 inches. You put on the tape against Florida State, you see he played very well. He's very good in pass protection. The talent is there. He's uh, going to fall into a similar category, I think, to guys like Carol Nix in the past, who graded out like a first round talent. Worked out well for him, though. Worked out very well. And, you know, he went in the fifth round because of all the baggage that he carried. You look at Jason Peters, didn't even get drafted coming out of Arkansas and turned into one of the best left tackles in the NFL. So I think he's a guy that could fall into this category. The big question is, can you manage him? He's only started one full season. He does have some baggage in his past. He's not a great worker. His bench press was one of, among the lowest at the combine. So there are some legitimate concerns. It wouldn't surprise me if he was still sitting there in the fourth or fifth rounds, but he clearly has left tackle feet and he can't start at that position in the league. If someone picks him up and actually get all the potential out of him. It could be a huge steal late in the draft. We'll have more confidential for you leading up to the draft all the time, just check back at ProFootballWeekly.com.